I'd say my favorite part of Bring Joy to a Child is just giving back to the community and being able to go and make a difference because that's something not a lot of high school students can kind of do on their own, if that makes sense. So definitely giving back to the community. And then what I can take away from this is just kind of like the faces of the children. It's like you go and you give them the stuff and like just that good feeling you get inside knowing that you made a difference and that you helped out. Uh -huh. I think my favorite part of uh, bringing joy to a child is seeing all of the donations laid out at the assembly and all of people's uh, you know, generosity is out there and it's just great to see everyone. My favorite part of BJ Tech is the fact that it brings our young community members together as well as all of the adults in the community and our school and um, it shows them that we can all help everybody in our community. You know, I can't I love that um, all the kids come together. We all support each other. Well, it takes a village is what it is. It takes a village to, you know, put this together. And it's quite amazing what comes out of it. So that's what I like about BJ Tech. Uh, I don't know about everyone else, but to me it's everyone pitching in their own money to help people who can't afford the stuff. I mean, it's a good cause. I would have to say because I was in leadership last year and this year, my favorite part of Bring Joy to a Child is the assembly and just getting everybody excited for the donations that we're going to take out and then taking them to the schools and stuff. Last year we got to see a whole bunch of kids during a fire drill and it's just really exciting to see their faces light up and be so ecstatic about the donations that they were going to receive. So today we're shopping for an 11 year old girl. We decided the most important things to get her were essentials like socks and pajamas. We also got her hygiene supplies and some fun gloves and scarves. Thank you. We're shopping for a kid named Vinny. Yeah. It's a pretty cool name. Pretty cool Seven name. years old. Seven year old guy. Likes Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, Super Mario Bros. So, for I'm shopping for a little boy named Jake who's 10 years old. And we got him a lot of clothes today. We got him a sweatshirt, some t shirts, shoes, socks, underwear. And then we're donating some Harry Potter stuff and some Pokemon cards and a soccer ball because those are his interests. Uh, I was put on clothes for a little girl and we were trying to find her shoes. And as it turns out, Shopping for a little girl's shoes is pretty hard, pretty hardcore. However, socks on the other hand, nothing wrong with cats. My favorite part of bringing joy to a child is the joy and the bringing of the joy to the child. And sometimes it's not one child, it is many a child. In other words, children. Uh, any final things you want to say? I hope everybody brings joy to a child this winter. We had a one-year-old little boy. We were shopping for like clothes and so he had socks and like shoes and pants and sweaters. A uh, nine-year-old girl, yeah. 
Word. named Samara, and yeah. she has three sisters that also are in elementary school. And so, yeah. What are you getting? Like pillows and sweaters and socks and stuff. Shoes. <laughs> yeah. Clothing. And a Barbie doll. We're shopping for a two-year-old boy uh, who loves cars, reading, and baseball. So we decided we'd uh, get him a couple of car-related items. I think my favorite part about bringing joy to a child is all of it. It's all like a super great experience. We start out learning what we need to get, and then we go get the things, and then at assembly, it's pretty cool. I think it's really cool to like make children happy, especially when they're like you know not really used to feeling that much warmth and support. So I think it's it's pretty neat. And have like a special experience that they'll remember mm -hmm. that they won't they wouldn't get otherwise. Yeah. Well, me personally, my brother and I have like all this. We have a ton of books at our house because we all love reading. So. The child that we were sponsoring in particular um, liked to read, so we were able to pass, I was able to pass on my love of reading to them with these books that I donated. It impacts my community, just, uh, you know, I've never been homeless, I've never really had a need, uh, like are identified in many of the families with Bring Joy to a Child, but uh, early on as a ninth grader at Seum High School back in, uh, gosh, I guess the late 80s, early 90s, um, always had the opportunity to help out a family from a local elementary school and so I think it just kind of really it brought to the forefront in my mind that even if you've got a little bit that you can donate it's probably a good idea to donate it if we're not using it and um, just that collective help in our community you know that if I'm helping people at some point if I ever actually needed help there's people there to help me out but I take away that kids at Sea Home uh, who maybe don't have an opportunity to get some kind of community event some kind of community service project without us kind of guiding them in that direction uh, they get to make some pretty real world choices they have to budget uh, they have to think um, you know beyond their everyday immediate experience and think about some other people and their, wor their welfare and uh, whether it impacts you as a ninth grader or maybe not until two years out of high school um, hopefully bring you to a child will stay with you for the rest of your life and always just be that piece of your uh, high school memory that reminds you that you know there's there's something bigger that you can do in your community. Well, my favorite part of Bring Joy to a Child is the part that you guys rarely get to see, which is actually delivering to the elementary schools. Uh, as hard a work as we do at Sea Home and as, as hard a work as Fred Meyer does every year, um, there's some pretty serious legwork that happens at the elementary schools, the six that we use, and getting to show up there and seeing the faces of the people that I coordinate the program with on their end um, is always pretty awesome. They're just overwhelmed that high schoolers who can tend to be a little uh, ego driven at times, no offense, um, just that you guys would be selfless enough to actually uh, do this hard work and bring this stuff to them. Um, it's not reality anymore that we really ever see the families that they're actually going to. We see where they end up and then later on the families will come and pick it up anonymously and um, you know they kind of keep their dignity that way. But um, the people that I work with pretty closely, which are secretaries and counselors and principals and um, that group of people, they're always really overwhelmed and they, they feel the love from Seahome. They know that there are kids at Seahome that have taken great pride in doing what they've done and um, they get it and the families get it and you guys do a great job. is like a budding flower that needs to be nourished with love and acceptance and 
Support. <laughs> okay, I need to start over. <laughs> Child is like a budding flower, waiting for the nourishment of love and a supporting and opportunity for the kids. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. That was really great. All right, Danny, your turn. Oh God, wait.